Alright, what is up guys? Codevo29 is back with a brand new video, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own E2Interact system. Now I did a video on this a while ago, and uh, it's a little bit outdated, and there's a much easier way to do it now, so I'm going to be updating that tutorial. Sorry I haven't posted in a few weeks, um, but uh, without further ado, let's just get right into this tutorial. And um, also, just for fun, comment below, do you like this new base plate that Roblox added, or the old base plate better? Uh, yeah, comment below because, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of this base plate. But, let's get right on to this tutorial. So, there is a new Eda Interact built-in system that you can use um, that is called a proximity prompt. And what is a proximity prompt? So, basically, it's what you see in, like, Jailbreak and um, games like that where they have the hold E to interact. It's basically that, and it's called a proximity prompt, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert a part into uh, into workspace, and we are going to be just working with that. Um, and what we can do is we can then uh, go ahead and click the plus icon and insert a uh, insert a proximity prompt. So a proximity prompt, like I said, is the E to interact. Now we can't see it right now because we're not in play mode. But if I was to play this game, uh, you would see that we have this really nice GUI. That, um, we don't have to do anything, we just have to insert that proximity prompt. Uh, let me close these out real quick. That's literally all we have to do, um, which is really helpful, because if we walk up to it, we will see that it has this E to interact, and uh, we're going to go ahead and customize that now. So what we can go ahead and do is uh, we can, uh, let's go through all these um, properties real quick, So uh, or most of them. Uh, so let's do this first, click, uh, or the action text. So this is what you, what the big text is going to say when you do it, right? So maybe it's like a get in the car, so you would say like get in car, and when you play this, um, it's going to show on the Edit Interact uh, GUI, um, it's going to show get in car, right? So we can walk over to it, and we have get in car here. So that's what the action text is. It's, sh it's the text of what is going to happen, okay? It's expl explaining to the player what's going to happen. So right now I'm going to just say uh, create a new part because we're just going to instance a part. I'm going to just as it's, uh, a um, a uh, an example. Sorry, an example. <laughs> um, and then this one's clickable prompt. Uh, this next property it basically allows you if you uncheck it, we can go ahead and play it. If you uncheck it, you should not be able to click it. You have to hold E. Um, now it's important uh, if you're going to have your this game for mobile. Uh, capability too, you will want the clickable on and not just the E. Um, so I would suggest always just having the clickable prompt on enabled, just whether it's uh, enabled or not. This, that one's pretty simple. Uh, exclusively, so there is. Um, we're not gonna we're not gonna do this one, but you can play around with these and just see what happens for you. Um, and here's the gamepad code, okay? So this is what button um, people on Xbox are gonna have to press if they um, if they uh, are if you're on Xbox, basically what gamepad key code you're gonna have to press. All right, uh, it's pretty straightforward there. Uh, next is the hold duration, so you're going to want to play with this. Um, this is how long you have to hold it in seconds, hold it down. So if I set that to a number like 2, um, they are going to have to hold the E down for 2 seconds, and it's going to do this nice little circle spinny thing, right? So if we head over to it, as you can see, it does this nice animation, and um, it's 2 seconds worth of it, okay? So, uh, there's that. The keyboard key code, you can p uh, pick what key you want it to be. Uh, I always, I would always have mine as E, but uh, you could even change this to A, and they then have to click or, and hold A um, to do it. However, I really strongly suggest not doing W, A, S, or D, because those are the keys that the players use to move around. But um, as you can see, it will stop moving me when I decide to do that. Um, so it's up to you, but I, I would always stick with E to be, uh, like for me, it's just something I would always stick with, I would always stick with E. So here, I'm going to go ahead and do E. This is max activation distance, so this is how far they have to be, or how close they have to be, rather, um, to be able to do the E to interact. Uh, this says like 10 studs, um, so 
we can pick the, make this a number like 50, and it's going to be five times as um, you can be five times as far to interact with it. Um, I would keep that at around 10. I feel like the built-in uh, feature for that is pretty um, standard. Uh, but as you can see now, once we have 50, we can be all the way over here to interact with it, which I don't personally like. I would stick with something like 10, okay? Uh, so I'm going to switch that back to 10. Here you can just change the name, and then here's the object text, okay? So maybe you have, um, I don't know, a uh, something like Jailbreak, where you are a cop and you go to arrest a robber. Um, you can, in the object text, say robber, whoop, robber, and as you'll see, basically what that's going to do is going to have a little text in the top left, uh, top left corner, so that says robber, so that it just kind of informs you on what this object is. See right here. So um, that's like if you wanted to make something like jailbreak, right? Uh, you could just parent uh, this proximity prompt to uh, robber. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to call this part because this is literally just a part. Pretty boring, but um, <laughs> that's all it is. Uh, requires line of sight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have this checked. Basically, uh, I'm going to double check, but if we um, click it off, I believe that what, what it will do is we should be able to hold E to interact even if we can't see it. Um, if we're within 10 studs, I think uh, we can... Oh, maybe I'm incorrect. I'm honestly not sure. Um, it doesn't seem to change much, um, but... I would just keep it on because it's the default setting that Roblox has. Uh, let me see. Okay, so it does that. Um, and if we have it checked, requires line of sight. Uh, let me see if it does anything, if it seems to do anything different. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything uh, different, but I would just keep it on because it's the Roblox default. Um, I mean, it's up to you, but that, I'm just going to keep it on for me. Uh, style, you can choose a custom or default style. Um, uh, I'm not going to get into this, but you can mess around with it. The rest of the settings I'm not going to get into. I mean, they're pretty simple, uh, or they're pretty uh, basic. Uh, well, maybe not basic, but they're not really necessary, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave that alone. You can get into the UI, uh, UI offset if you want. That's just changing where the UI is going to be. But let's go ahead and see how we make this do something, okay? Because it's kind of boring right now what it's what it's at. So let's insert a script inside of the proximity prompt. And what we're going to say is we're just going to say local proximity prompt equals to script dot parent. So we're just uh, creating a variable with a variable with a reference to uh, the proximity prompt. And we can just say proximity prompt dot triggered colon connect function and then player. Okay, so here's what this is doing. This is, um, it has the proximity prompt, and this is a built-in function called triggered, or event. And when we call dot triggered connect function, that's just whenever they actually do the eat interact. So anything in here will happen when they do the eat interact. And we automatically get this parameter player. So now we can just do whatever we want, right? Uh, in this case, we're going to instance dot new a part. So we're going to instance a new part. Well, I'm going to go ahead and store that in a uh, variable. And we can say part.parent equals workspace. And uh, yeah, that should, be, that should be good for that. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what happens now. Uh, if we go ahead and do the E to interact, we should uh, see a part instance every time we do it. Um, so let's go ahead and head on over. Create new part. Let's hold it down, and a new part has been created somewhere. I just need to go find it. Uh, it is, oh, it's right here. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way so you can see there is this new part that's been created, and uh, we actually do have another one. It's just stuck under it, uh, and we have another one if we clone it. So that's basically what we're doing, uh, and we can do all sorts of stuff with this. We can. Um, we can give the player certain abilities, right? If you have like a game pass, you can uh, prompt the purchase with the player, or you can say like player dot character uh, dot humanoid root part dot position equals to uh, their the player dot character dot humanoid root part dot position plus vector three dot new zero comma. 10 comma 0 so that's just gonna like send them flying 
up in the sky. Um, uh, and we can just say, uh, in the action text, we can just say, um, create, or I mean, not create, um, go in sky, I guess. Um, and we can just say the object text is, uh, fly part, I guess. Um, it's not really flying, but, uh, who cares? Uh, so we can go ahead and play this, and if we do the eat interact, we should be able to go way up into the sky, well, not really way up, it's only going to be a few, it's only going to be 10 studs, but still, uh, we're going to go up and we're going to fall. Um, if we wanted, we could even change that to 100 studs, but I think you get the point. Uh, we could even, you know, change the head size, dot head, dot size equals its size, um, plus vector 3, dot new, one by one by one, so we're going to add a stud to every si uh, size of their head, just make it get bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, anyway, uh, so that is pretty much how you do eat and interact, and uh, this should work as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I mean, it'll work through 2020. Oh my goodness! Uh, it should, and as far uh, sorry, it should work through 2021. And as far as I'm concerned, it should work through 2022 and continuing to work on as long as the proximity prompt is here. Oh, that looks terrible. Um, so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, make sure to um, subscribe and click that notification bell and uh, leave a like on the video. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you next time, hopefully without this giant head. I will see you guys in the next video.